Today we're enabling our Jeep to do even more. This is a 2021 Jeep Wrangler and we're gonna be going over the Kurt two inch trailer hitch receiver. Why do we want a hitch receiver? Well, we could do a lot of things with it. This is gonna be great for bike racks. You can get a cargo carrier on the back because you don't really have a whole lot of room inside the Wrangler. So if you wanna pack it full of friends and bring all their stuff with them too and not be all crammed, this is gonna enable you to do that. So as you can see, it is a two inch hitch receiver, it has a nice glossy finish to it. Not my favorite, I like the matte black one. If I were to recommend you a hitch receiver for your Wrangler, definitely go with the e-trailer one, not just because it's the e-trailer, but we give you an extra three inches coming out. So it's gonna help with some of those accessories you might grab. But it's also not just for accessories, you can haul with it too. So we have the safety chain loops, and even with the bigger chains on this, it's still gonna work. I don't think we're gonna really need chains of this heavy duty, but the big ones do work. And I say that just because this isn't gonna be a super high capacity hitch receiver. It's gonna have about 3,500 pounds gross trailer weight max, and then it's gonna have a max tongue weight of 350 pounds. But if you go on our website and grab a weight distribution system for your setup, It'll go up to 4,000 pounds gross trailer weight capacity and a tongue weight of 400 pounds. So that's always an option. Typically your accessories are gonna come with the hitch pin, but if you need one, just grab one here at e-trailer. We got you covered. And grab a 5 8 diameter pin. You see how there's hardly any play at all with that pin, just a little tiny bit. So that's gonna be the strongest option for you. And from the center of that hitch pin hole, to the start of our bumper. It's gonna be about six inches. And then out to the edge of our spare tire, it's about 11 inches. And why that measurement matters? Well, we have put a lot of hitches on this Wrangler today. And whenever you grab some accessories, kind of like the Swagman bike rack, let me grab it in there real quick. Even with a longer shank platform style bike rack, I can't even get the hitch pin hole lined up before I hit the spare tire. This is a stock spare tire. So you're gonna have this issue, especially if you have bigger tires on it. And even if it did go in, we aren't gonna be able to fold it up either. So that's another reason why you really wanna go with the e-trailer one that's a little bit longer because then you're not gonna have that issue. If you don't take my advice and you do go with this one, there's a couple ways we can kind of offset that issue. One, we can grab a, and no. If you don't take my advice and you go with this one, there is something we can do to kind of offset that issue, and that's grabbing a hitch extender. But the reason why I don't like those hitch extenders, it's gonna cut this capacity in half. So right now it's 350 pounds tongue weight. Cut that in half. You put a hitch cargo carrier on here that weighs about 40 pounds but it has a capacity of 500 pounds, but you can only put maybe like 100 pounds of stuff on that accessory. So definitely go with the longer one so we don't have to use that extender. But another thing to think about, this next measurement is gonna change a little bit. The tires that we have on here are 245-75R17, so a stock Jeep tire, and there is no lift on here. But this is just gonna be a generic measurement for this specific one from the ground to the inner top tube, it's gonna to be about 18 and a half inches. If you don't think this one's gonna give you any troubles with whatever you plan on putting in it, it's gonna be a great option for you. Just my opinion is just grab the longer one. But they all do install the same. It's not like one's easier than the other. They're all really easy. I literally slapped this thing on in about five minutes. So if you wanna see the install, stick around, I'm gonna show you. In the instructions, it says to lower the exhaust. If you wanna make it easier on yourself, you can. That's just a couple steps we don't really need to do. But if you wanted to, there's a hanger right here. And that same exact position on the other side is our other hanger. That'll just give us a little bit more room, but we don't really need it. All right, we got four holes. We're gonna have one right around here, and then one here, one here, and one here. And that's gonna line up with these holes. So we wanna make sure the hitch is facing outward, of course. And put this up into place and then the hardware is included so we want to take the bolt and put a washer on it and then feed it through the back towards the front
and you notice on this hole and not this one but this one it is kind of threaded so once we get it halfway through I start twisting it and it should find that hole to go all the way through but with the other ones like the one on the end here once we get it in there this one will just slide right in it's a little tight if you have an extra set of hands go for it but I'm confident I can get it done. Once that's in, we're gonna take our nut right here and thread that on. With these, I like to get it hand tight to start and then just take a three quarter inch socket or wrench in this Case. I'm using two of them and I like to get these pretty tight first just so I don't have to do a whole lot of tightening with the torque wrench and now we can do that same exact thing for all four of our bolts so now let's look at our instructions. There's some torque specifications in there. Now we can torque everything down to that spec in our instructions. And there we go. Do that for all four bolts. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Doesn't take a whole lot of time just to enable your Jeep to do so much more things. And again, this is a 2021 Jeep Wrangler, and we were taking a look at the Kurt 2-inch trailer hitch receiver.